Hello and welcome back to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. Don't forget if you're watching for the first time to hit subscribe and um, give it a thumbs up if you like the content. I'm a regular punter, I like a gamble, know how to record content. Um, I've developed my own roulette tools uh, which are reference tools to how I like to play roulette. They also show you what's happening on the table and you can probably from that information get a better insight into what's happening so when you place your bets you can hopefully get those wins. Um, you're not guaranteed to get any wins using the tools, uh, as with any strategy. You know, you'll you'll start off pretty well and then it'll just die off basically. So, a hit and run approach, a profit and stop approach to playing roulette seems to work really well. And all these tools work in slightly different ways. And um, I'm going to be using the quadrant roulette tool on this setup. So this is the quadrant roulette tool. I'm playing a single zero wheel. And this is the, the layout, basically. I've got four quadrants, one, two, three, and four. So quadrant one, um, in fact, let me just move that down a bit. That's better. Uh, quadrant one is, um, <clears throat> has got 10 numbers in it, zero to 22. Quadrants two, three, and four have got nine numbers in them. So this square box has got nine numbers, nine to five, 10 to six, 34 to 32, and zero to 22 for one. So what I'm gonna be looking to do here is bet on um, the highest counts on each of them. So I'm gonna start with the highest count. So I'm gonna input the history of numbers from the table into the tool. I wanna get two wins at 20 pence. And I want, I want to change tables and get two wins at um, 50 pence. Oh, the change in the table. Well, I'm going to change tables. So, may as well start over. Uh, I, was going to, I was going to get two wins at 20 and two wins at um, 50, but um, let's have a look where I can go. Uh, let's try the American table because that's got a 20 pence stake on it, hasn't it? So let's just go back to the menu or you know, go to double zero. Here we go. So this is a double zero table. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten numbers in quadrant one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in quadrant two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in quadrant three. And one, two, it should have nine in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. So quadrants one and three on this American table have got ten numbers. And quadrants two and four have got nine numbers. And I'm going to play at 20 pence stake. I'm going to get two wins on this table at 20 pence and two wins on another table at 50 pence. I've got a balance of £209.62. I'm going to input the history of numbers, but before I do that, increase my neighbour setting to uh, four, because then that'll give me nine numbers, won't it? So then I just have to click on, if I'm covering quadrants one or three, I click on four or uh, 24, and then just add the extra number that hasn't put in. So this is an American table. I'm going to input the history of numbers from the table into the tool. So click the numbers from the history. As I'm putting the numbers in from the history, you'll see things happening on the tool. You'll see little white balls appearing on numbers that have been out. That's another indicator you can look at for numbers that have dropped in and where it's dropping in numbers. And yeah, this is the quadrant roulette tool um, by Roulette Profit and Stop. So this is another tool I developed years ago. So quadrant two is not hit, um, which is not hit for nine spins. Now, if there's a three point difference between the top two highest counts in the black boxes, nine and five, which there is, it's four point difference. I would bet on that. Um, 34. So I'm going to do that. I'm on 12, wherever that is. There. So 12 at 20 pence. 12 neighbour by 4. Let's put some sound on this. Oh, here we go. So, I'm on 12 with 4 pockets either side. 18 through to 27. It's not hit. 
quadrant two for 10 spins in a row. That's what that shows. The outer white numbers show the amount of numbers it's hit total since I've input 14 spins. So quadrant one's hitting the most. There we go. There's my hit straight away. Boom, 25. That's my first win. So now I'm looking to hit again. I'm going to go with quadrant one this time. Quadrant one. So we're looking at and a five. So I'm looking for two wins at 20 pence. I'm on double zero to five. So quadrant one, that's the highest count for the numbers that have hit total. And the highest count for misses in a row is quadrant four. I'm going for quadrant one. So I'll switch from two because it hit 25 to number one. So double zero to five. That's a zero. Ooh. So click the zero. I'm going to repeat the bet. Same stake. <coughs> I don't have to double up or anything like that just yet. I'm going to wait. Twenty-three. That's a miss. Wherever that is, that's there. So I'm gonna repeat the bet. Third bet now. If this one misses, I double up. Twelve again. So it's still not hitting the, the hot area. Now I'm going to double up. So because I've not hit for three spins, my fourth bet's a double up. Because if I don't double up on my fourth bet, I won't get into profit if I hit. And I'm looking for that one single hit that gets me into a value of profit. So every time I lose from this position, I'm going to repeat the bet and add another twenty pence per number for a few more spins. So this will put me further ahead into profit if I hit. And this will be my second win at 20 pence. And then I'm going to switch tables and play at 50 pence and get two wins at that. And there we go. There's my hit. Double zeros landed. That's my win. So now I'm at 219.42. That's a £10 profit. And I shall take that and run. So that was the quadrant roulette tool. I'm going to change tables. I'm going to play now a 50p table. Try and catch a win on this one. I'm going to go back to this one with this dolly dealer. Nice looking dealer. I'm going to input the history of numbers. 27. 34. 22. 24. 9. 13.35. 3.21. 11.11. 22. So um, I'm going to go with the coldest area. So the coldest one is the, in the black middle numbers, the hottest of the outside corners. So I'm going to do 50 pence per number, neighbor by four. Number two's landed. So I'm on quadrant four, which is one neighbor. There you go. There's my first bet. It's a four pound 50 pence bet. I'm on numbers five through to nine. It's a single zero wheel. I'm looking for. 5, 20, 24, 16, 33, 1 is the number I clicked on, 20, 14, 31 and 9, 9 has been hitting, and number 2 is landed, 2 likes to go down to 10, so it might go to the neighbour of 10 and hit the 5 or the 24, might go back towards the 22, hit the 9 maybe, but I'm on 1 neighbour, first bet, I want to get 2 wins at 50 pence, this is my first bet at 50, on the quadrant roulette tool, so anywhere near the 1. 10 it hit the 10 to 10 that's one off that's my combo 2 to 10 so now i'm going to repeat the bet same stake i don't need to double up until my third uh, sorry my fourth bet <clears throat> my fourth bet will be the increase so we're looking for 
five through to nine. I would... <coughs> Excuse me. I would expect this to hit on my second bet. From that ten, it might go to, to nine. You see, twenty-two, nine, thirty-one. Close to 10, maybe 24 as well. No, it stopped almost dead. 13. This might be on collect mode then. I'll give it a. We'll carry on. We'll persist, persist with it. Third bet. So this is my third bet. I've just gone with the highest count. I've not gone with the um, three point difference minimum between the top two highest counts, which is what I would normally do. So I'm betting on an area that's not yet hit, and these can go missing for a long time. So looking for one by four. This is now my third bet, and this will still put me in profit, even if I hit on this spin. Nine through to five. Oh, just one off. Number ten again. One away. Now this is a double up. Now I'm playing double up territory, so repeat and double. And this will give me 13.50 profit. And if this hits, I can switch the gameplay. And I'll move to a different quadrant. Or I could change tables. And try and get a hit on a different table at 50 pence stake. But now I'm doing a progression. So this will give me uh, my first progression, which is spin number four. This will give me £13.50 profit if it hits. Um, five through to nine. So one neighbour. No, nowhere near. Number 25. Now, when I click 25, watch what happens. I've got a yellow dot on 25. I'm going to bet 25 here. And I'm, now I'm on three times the chip value per number. So the reason I'm covering 25 and moving away from the 1 is because 25 likes to go back to 25. And the neighbours, quite often, you'll see that a lot. So I'm on 19 to 27. 19. Through to 27 is the bet. So 25, neighbour. Oh, thought it was going to go to the area that, I'm, that I was betting on. Right, it didn't do it. And we've got, um, now it's showing up the cold numbers, basically, that I haven't yet hit. So I'm going to go back to quadrant one. And now I'm at £2 per number. Now it's costing me to play this now. Started with a balance of 209.62. I got my two wins at 20 pence. And I'm looking to get my two wins at 50 pence. So this table's proving to be difficult. If I do get my hit on this spin, I'm going to change tables. The so one neighbour. Here's the bet. Five to nine. Just after five, before the nine, around the one. And there, we, there you go. There's my hit. Nine. Just right on the edge. So that's a winning spin. So that's put me into profit on that table. I am going to sw switch tables because it took a quite a while to get that. I'm at 237 now. So we're going to change tables. And I reset the menu. Because it took too long, I'm moving, I'm moving away from that one. Uh, we're going to try a different table. And we're going to see if we can catch another one now. So this is speed roulette. We're going to see how this one performs. So input the history of numbers. 17, So this is looking pretty good. I'm looking at the numbers and whether they are in, in relation to each other and whether they're going backwards and forwards between each other because if they're doing that, then I'll get my hit. So I'm just looking for one hit on this. So neighbour number to four. 14 landed, so the bet's going to be quadrant 3, which is 11. That's the highest count, 7 in orange. So quadrant 3, 11 neighbour. Just looking for one hit. So I got two wins on 20 pence. I've had one win at 50. This is for my second win at 50 pence. <coughs> Started with £209, and I'm on 6 through to 10. And oh, that was a pullback. That was going into my numbers. That was naughty. That was naughty. I'm going to repeat the bet. And away we go. So I'm on quadrant number three. Not hit for eight spins. It is a cold quadrant. Some people like to cover the trend. 
the hot trend and cover the hot areas using this tool which is not a bad idea this is my second bet at 50 pence 10 through to 6 this is probably going to hit 11 right bang on or the 10 now nah. number 18 that's a miss I'm going to repeat the bet third time third time lucky <clears throat> let's see if we can get that hit so two wins at 20 two wins at 50 job done basically I could have stopped sooner I just forgot about this one but we'll give it a go 6 through to 10 11 neighbor third bet and whoa that that had plenty of chance to slow down what the fuck I'm gonna double up now this is my fourth bet so hmm that was a bit cheeky that ball maneuver so that direction not good let's just see what this direct direction is doing and how how fast the ball slows down looking for 10 through to 6 just after the just after the 10 before the 6 11 neighbor quadrant 3 and that's it that's my hit and I doubled up so fantastic that's my win and it takes me up to 250 I used the quadrant roulette tool I got two wins at 20 pence with the progression and two wins at 50 pence also with the progression and I managed to take my balance from £209.62 up to £250.92. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to um, hit subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Check out my website to gain access to the roulette tools over at rouletteprofitandstop.co.uk. Thanks again. See you soon.